Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking on Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur has been put back into Mega Raids replacing Mega Tyranitar. This is at the start of the Verdant Wonders event so yesterday it got put back into Mega Raids and we're going to be going up against it using a team of Rayquaza. So we have four Rayquazas all running Air Slash and Dragon Ascent. So the first one start we start off with is a Mega Rayquaza. And then at the back of the team, we have a normal shiny Mewtwo, a Lucky 96 Mewtwo, level 50. That's running Confusion and Psy Strike. And then we also have a Shadow Shiny Mewtwo right at the end as well, also level 50. And that is running Psycho Cut and Psy Strike as its moveset. So, second Rayquaza now in. The shiny 96 lucky one. This one's around about level 47, so not quite maxed out yet. Still need some more Mega, or sorry, some more Candy XL to be able to max it out to level 50. And then these next two Rayquazas are level 40. But that sludge bomb that Venusaur is using is very damaging to these Rayquazas. So we're about a quarter way through the time now. 225 seconds just gone past. It is weather boosted as well. We are weather boosted. So flying types are weather boosted. It's windy weather in game, which is good against a grass type like Venusaur. And the good thing is as well, as you can see, they seem to have fixed the bug that was in the game before, where it would show not very effective on all your movesets, no matter if it was effective or it wasn't. They seem to have fixed it, and now we are getting the super effective above Venusaur, albeit very faint. So maybe that's a separate little bug that we're having to deal with. But Mewtwo... Shadow Mewtwo, this is the last one in the squad. So we are going to have to revive after this. We're 170 seconds into the raid. Or 170 seconds left, should I say. So into the yellow, 160 seconds. So this is going to be very close. It all depends on how quick we can get these revives off. And get straight back into the raid. So hopefully we won't need any more reviving. Dragon Ascent Rayquaza now back in. So it is glitching a little bit on Venusaur's health. It does do this every now and again. But it doesn't give us a true representation of where we are with Venusaur's health. Hopefully it will sort itself out soon. As you can see, when Rayquaza uses Dragon Ascent, it seems to be using loads at once, and then it jumps back up to try and correct its wrongdoing. So another Sludge Bomb, and our Rayquaza is now out, our Mega Rayquaza. So the second Rayquaza, so Venusaur's health seems to have corrected itself now. We're on 96 seconds. And Venusaur with that other sludge bomb again. It is really, really deadly against our Rayquaza. So, 76 seconds on the clock. And another sludge bomb will see this Rayquaza faint out as well. And then we'll be down to, down to our last Rayquaza before the Mewtwo's appear. So 60 seconds on the clock. As long as we can survive, not fainting out, this will be very close if we are going to do it. 50 seconds left on the clock. This might, in fact, be a tougher, ra tougher Mega Raid boss to take down than the previous Mega Tyranitar. 35 seconds on the clock now. Can we just about manage to do it? 
We have got that Shadow Mewtwo in the background, just waiting to be used for the last few hits, if it needed. 14 seconds left on the clock, will we do it? There it goes, 10 seconds remaining and we have managed to defeat Mega Venusaur by ourselves. So awesome, awesome raid that was, very, very close indeed. In fact, it was perhaps closer than the Mega Tyranitar in some cases, but we've managed to do it, 150 Mega Energy and have we got a shiny? No, we haven't, but it does look really cool with that background on there. So really, really cool Venusaur. 15.06 was that CP? 15.09, so not, I don't know if that's good or not, but let's see if we can catch it and find out. Game just seems to be lagging it a little bit. Might be because my phone's getting a little bit hot in this warm weather. Let's see if we can just take our time. And see if we can catch this Mega Venusaur, which we just managed to solo. Still not staying in the ball, Mega Venusaur. Nice for on it there. It does seem to be set really far back, Mega Venusaur does so, or normal Venusaur as it is now. Take our time on this. Don't want this one to run away if we can help it. There it goes. Four balls remaining and we managed to catch it. Venusaur is caught. So there is our solo Venusaur. So awesome little solo there, and let's see how good it is. It's a two star. So it's not brilliant. Hopefully we're gonna be able to do another solo very soon and hopefully get a three star or even would be more cooler would be to, to be able to get a shiny one off a solo mega raid. That'll be really, really cool. Still not yet managed to get any mega shiny off a solo raid. So hopefully that will drop very soon. Thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope you've liked the video. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always. We've just gone over 700 subscribers, so big thanks to everybody who's done that. And also make sure to stick around and see if you have noticed my trainer code throughout this video. I am just gonna drop it in there throughout the video. So make sure to give me an ad. It will only be there for the next 48 to 72 hours and then I will be training changing my trainer code so that's just a special thanks to anybody who watches this video in the first few days thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video